Do, 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 do. Lord have mercy on my soul, brother. It's been almost three months since I've played this game. Kind of nervous. This is kind of how I want it to be. Like, the start of the episode is fresh. Like, there is no history. This is new. I don't have to remember anything just yet, so I'm not in the shit. But I'm going to be. So let's let's get in there together. Let's go. Let's go. There's, there's no reason to refer long to trial. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. The evidence and testimony we have seen and heard are conclusive. The victim was alone at his table when he drank from that poison cup of tea. No! You're wrong. I know what I saw. I saw... It. I saw it. Oh my gosh, this is heat. I saw someone else there. A man. He's the real killer. Not Phoenix Wright. Not Phonix Wright. No way. He's he's dripping the the pixie dust from Peter Pan. Why won't anyone believe me? <laughs> well, I'd say that pretty much wraps up this case, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright? This court finds the defendant. I lost already. That's insane. This court is a jerk. January 6th, Brighton Cole offices. Ah! It's my own, naturally. Okay. The start of the new year always makes me feel like I can take on the whole world. I bet it does, Maya. So, I've decided that our resolution should be Zvari, take on the world. What do you think? Sure, whatever, Maya. But I think maybe you've had more than enough mistletoe cake. Never! You've got to eat a lot of cake during New Year's. It's practically a tradition. Like watching the fireworks on TV or playing a board game. Oh, hey pal. Detective Gumshoe. Happy New Year, Detective! Uh, likewise. Now listen up, right? I want it. Here's to another fruitful year of lawyer police cooperation. Um, yeah, me too. All right, pal. You've got some explaining to- Have you got a holiday present for me, Detective? A what? Well, I, uh... Here, have this. It's, it's nothing much, but... Yay! Thanks! Look, pal. We need to have a talk. Take a seat. Hey, what about Pearly? You haven't forgotten her present, have you? Uh, no. I mean, yes. I mean, no. Are you doing this on purpose? Haha! <laughs> Guess I'm busting! How did you like my first practical joke of the year? Very funny, pal. His voice is changing. I don't know what it's turning into. He's from the Bronx, bro. He's from Jersey. Very funny, pal. Now, let's see how funny you think it is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? It looks like Phoenix is in the magazine. Hey, I wanna see! Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict. Defense attorney Wright trounced? The hell does trounced mean? Tr trounced? That's what I'm saying. Let me see that. The defense attorney gave an almost childishly amateur performance yesterday. The heck is this? Is someone cosplaying Phoenix Wright? It's a report, pal, about you. Listen to this. Mr. Wright make, must take full responsibility for ruling in this case. For the ruling. Well, and don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. At all. I really thought there was an all at the end of that sentence. But I don't remember anything about it. When was that issue from anyway? Um, December last year. Which I guess makes it last month. Which makes it old news, you mean? <laughs> But I wasn't involved in any poisoning case in December. Hmm. What do you know about all this, Nick? 
What do you know about what? What? Oh, God damn it! I hate there's no transcript button. If it wasn't you, pal, then that leaves only one possibility. No, no way! You don't mean a fo a phony Nick? Yeah, someone's cosplaying. Doing a really good job on it, I guess. This must be Gumshoe's idea of a joke, because he's starting off the year with one too. Magazine clipping an article from December 5th says I was trounced and my client was found guilty. So? What are you gonna do about it, pal? What do you mean, what am I gonna do about it? Well, it's your fault that the judge found the defendant guilty in this case. My fault? How do you figure that? Because THE Phoenix Wright is super famous now. Well, maybe only sort of. Yeah. And see what happens when you hotshots start getting too full of yourselves. But I didn't do anything wrong. At least, not that I can remember. You better make this right, pal. Now. And that means taking the case back to court. Got it? Sounds like we've got our first case of the new year. Let's tackle it with gusto. I don't know. The judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not going to be easy to get it overturned. Ellipses. I guess that New Year's resolution is going to have to wait until next year. So you're taking the case, right? Good. I'm gonna head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay, pal? Thanks, Dick. I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. The client entrusted a case to me based on my reputation. Guess I am kind of responsible. But why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of guy would do that? Go no, not. He has the hair. I know. Hey, Maya. So, what's our first move? I guess we go down to the detention center and talk- Wait a sec, Nick. This person's behind bars because of you. Whoever it is isn't going to be jumping at the chance to meet you, right? Hey, 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 let's get one thing straight. It wasn't me. It was a fake me that did all this. Hmm. I wonder if he looks exactly like you. Your phony... Zin... Eop? I mean? What? I sure hope not either. Ugh. What kind of name for an evil double is Zin Eop, anyway? Oh, Phoenix backwards. Okay, I'm sharp today, kinda. I wouldn't have gotten that at first regardless, even if I was on my best day. Ah, Nick, I've got it. If you're going to ask whether I've got a twin brother, the answer is no. Spoil sport. Any ideas? Did you notice, <coughs> did you notice Gumshoe was acting weirder than usual? Usual? Or was it just me? What do you mean? I mean, he was really worked up. Like, a guy who's just found out he's going to be a dad or something. Yeah, I guess he was acting kind of strange. Maybe he realized he's got strong feelings for you, Nick. Apparently that's a thing. Like, the writers know about, like, the shipping between characters and they... They... They show it through the, the game, literally. This is the game, text text the game. I didn't even read that. Well, if he wasn't nervous because of you, then maybe it's because of our new guilty client? Interesting. Look at my badge. So you've still got that badge, I see. Huh? Well, I'm a lawyer, aren't I? Yeah, but I guess I just didn't think you'd keep, it on, keep on being one for this long. You have to admit, you've had some close brushes with death because of your job. I fail to see how being a lawyer is more dangerous than channeling dead people, Maya. I can't believe you've got an impersonator. I can't either. Huh. Aw, but look on the bright side. Only famous stars have people impersonating them. This isn't funny, Maya. It's not just an impersonation. This guy stole my identity. He has my social security card. He has my address. He has my bank account info. This is identity theft. This is the case and someone may have been wrongly convicted as a result. Guess you should have gone into showbiz, huh, Nick? <sighs> I'll never understand how your mind works, Maya. 
I've known you for years, Maya. Do you know anything about this, Maya? Hmm. Even someone as worldly wise as me doesn't know everything about everything, Nick, so I the... This is yours! What are you... Okay, whatever. Yeah! Okay. Uh... Okay. We're going to see our client first. Gumshoe can wait. We can go see him after we see our uh, client. I should have shaved. I look disgusting. This is so nerve-wracking. Waiting to meet our new client. I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. C keep it down, Maya. What kind of talk could ruin me? Ah! It's a girl. Okay. Are you Maggie Bird? Look like her. Kind of. All girls have the same voice. I can't do different girl voices. I'm not that talented. How, how could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? They put me in solitary. I haven't been able to stop crying. Uh, aren't you... Oh, wait. Maybe I am right. Hold on. Yes, I am. I am totally and utterly let down. Ah, you're... Are you... Don't pretend you don't know me. It's, it is Maggie Bird. No way. <laughs> don't pretend you don't know me. It's me, Maggie. Remember? Maggie Bird. Maggie Bird. Ah. Yeah, I knew. I knew. Yeah, okay. Okay. Look like Makoto from Persona 5. Maggie Bird. She's the policewoman I defended that one time back in Justice for All, Trial 1. She was accused of murdering her lover. Not really. Not really her lover, I mean. He was a cop, too. What are you doing in here? Didn't I get you a quick- Oh, sure. Very funny. After that fifth-rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes? You better hurry up and tell her what happened, Nick. Okay, I told Maggie everything. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. I remember that show, yeah. I'm actually not surprised now that we're seeing her again. I vaguely remember her saying the exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. What's one more disaster in my life? At least now, the real Mr. Wright is here with me. With me. With me, I don't know. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. Let's go. Um, first off, let me show you this. Oh, yeah, I need to ask you about this. Hey, this article is about my case. Can you tell me anything about the guy who was pretending to be me? Yes, sir. It was the morning after I'd been arrested. Immediately, I see no... Oh, see, Phoenix isn't in the corner anymore. Stop. See, Godot is still here. Maggie Bird, the waitress at Trace Bien, was found guilty of murder thanks to the phony me. Who is that guy, Loki? I met you in the visitor's room here. You were wearing one of your super sharp suits. Oh, holy shit. Super sharp suits. Oh my god. Me? Yes, you, Mr. Wright. Ugh. Hey, Maggie! Was my evil double Ayam there too? No. I don't remember a phony you, Maya. <laughs> Water. Oh. Huh. It would have been so cool. Then you got really worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you cleared of this crime. I'm gonna get you cleared of this crime, you said. Who has a... Southern accent in this game? Universe, rather. Lot of heart. Lot of heart is cosplaying as Phoenix Wright. Got it. Okay, I get the picture. But you've met me in person before. So how come you didn't realize that guy wasn't the real me? I guess, looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little? Well, okay, so you were a bit taller than normal, so it's not a lot of art. And you looked a bit shady. And your voice was a bit weird. Oh, and you had this kind of funny accent, so the guy was nothing like me then, huh? But he had your spiky hair and blue suit, which is pretty much your only defining features. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, it is. How about everyone else in the courtroom? Like, the judge and the observers? Didn't they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had these big question marks on their faces. And above their heads, like, it was like The Sims or Persona. But it seemed that no one wanted to say anything, sir. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder, Nick. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm, I'm your attorney. Yes. Did he have this badge? That is the real defining thing. That badge. Is it real? Of course it's real. That's what they all say, but I've been duped before. Give it to me for a sec. Is there a... Can I slide it? Through... Ah! Chomp. Oh, she bit it like a coin. Yeah. <laughs> she... She bit into it. And I left a few teeth marks, too. Yeah, I can see that. It's ruined. I just wish I could remember if that means it's real or a fake. I said it was real. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So how have you been, Maggie, besides being convicted of murder again? So how come you're dressed like that, Maggie? Last year, you looked so sharp in that police uniform. <laughs> I was fired after that incident last year. Oh! I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. I feel that. So, what do you do now? In the second act of The Life of Maggie Bird, I'm playing the role of a waitress. A waitress? How these girls do. Holy shot. Yes, in a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My charming smile and shapely figure came through for me. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong... Okay, we got a we got another, um... Person of interest. P-O-I. We got another poi. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir. And then you got into this mess straight away, right? Yeah, you could put it that way. What do you mean by that? What happened? This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. Oh, that's right, this did happen a while ago. What is it dated? December 5th, yeah, yeah, Okay. And it happened at Trace Bien. Three good? Isn't that what that means? Three good? Bien means good, right? And it happened at Trace Bien. Tre- Oh, Tre. Not Trace. God, I'm stupid. It's French, not Spanish. God. Yes, it's a restaurant where good service and a friendly smile are always included. Oh. Holy shit, who is that? There were two men at the table, both drinking coffee. And then... Salt Bay. The salt Bay the shit out of me. One of the men slipped some poison into the victim's cup. The victim just took one sip and was gasping for air. I was so shocked, I passed out. Hey, hold on there, Maggie. What? You keep calling the guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy who was killed? Not at all. Not at all. I'd never even seen the guy before. Oh. Dude, this is not adding up. Of course it isn't. It's Ace Attorney. So she wouldn't have had the motive to kill him then, I guess. Yeah. How the hell did she get convicted of murder? <laughs> and the other man, the killer, you saw him, right? Of course. A good waitress must be attentive to the clientele. Okay, so what did he look like? So you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyway. How come? You tell me! <laughs> You tell me, Mr. Wright. Ah. I guess the answer to my question is my phony. Anyway, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. So if you saw the murderer, why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw... The, the place was empty? What do you mean? Saw what? The other man. 
the one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong, a customer, everyone. So who is this guy? He has some, like, power level reading Dragon Ball thing. I don't watch Dragon Ball. That, that was just a quick connection. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. So whoever this phony Phoenix Wright is, I guarantee you, he bought off everybody. Like, he paid off everybody. But how's that possible? I don't know, but nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. Even Phoenix Wright, my one last hope for a fair trial, failed me. What a pathetic defense. My granny could have done a better job than hiring your granny. Look, that wasn't me, okay? And then, they found something a bit incriminating in my apron pocket. What? A small bottle of poison. Almost like I did it. Yeah. What? P poison? It wasn't in your po- it was in your pocket? Well, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have slipped the poison into my pocket when I was unconscious. This is episode three, right? Holy shit. And no one else saw this other guy? No, sir. That's what everyone said, but I don't see how they could have missed him. Th that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm confused about. I was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Oh, and what was your impression of them? Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be in the music industry. Oh, he's a rapper. Okay. The music industry. I just naturally assume he's a rapper. Okay. In music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about him. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. Okay, they're not in the music industry. This is some... government type shit, I think. He had an earpiece. Okay, like he's either undercover or something. They're trying to catch some guy. Okay, I could be completely wrong. Here I go, just like assuming shit again. Okay. An earpiece and a sample CD, huh? <laughs> I can't resist doing the snake voice, dude, every time I hear huh. I don't like, God, that's my fault. An earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. They must have been preparing for their debut, I guess. Yeah, MC what, dash numbers? Yeah, that's a case file thing. So it was a band CD. Maybe a promo disc? Maybe it was MC Screwdriver. Haha, <laughs> get serious, Maya. Would you buy the CD of a group named that? Come on. Ugh. What's the name of that group again? MC Hacksaw? No, MC... And what about the killer? What did he look like? Well, I, um... I don't really remember. Only that he was a young man, well-built like the victim, really. Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a retrial. Um, Mr. Wright... Nani? Hold on. Okay. I missed it, but she said... Nani? There we go. Do you think we'll win next time, sir? Nani? My life has been a full course meal of bad luck, complete with defeat. <laughs> what? Complete with defeat for dessert. Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I've even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused of murder. But, I will survive, because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day. And one day, I'll find it. Just you wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment of good luck. Maya's like, yeah. Okay, that's just going to be pronounced Zin-Eop. 
Arr! Zin Eop is really gonna pay for this! What are you starting- what are you staring at me like that for? But Maya's right. Whoever it is that thought it was a good idea to use my name, and get an innocent girl convicted of murder had better watch out. We'll find him! Don't you worry! We'll get Zin Eop for you! Thank you! Oh, and I'll tell you where Trace Bien is, or Trey Bien. Tre- Oh, right. The restaurant where the murder took place. Yes, sir. When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. Sure. All right, Nick. Let's go check out this restaurant and its food. Yeah, you already know we're going there for the food for Maya. You know? Um... Can I present herself? No matter what happens, <laughs> I never let things get me down. Oh, yeah. You're always so positive, aren't you, Maggie? Macho Maggie bird. They say the early bird catches the worm. A bird in the hand. Wow, all those phrases are named after you? <clears throat> and I never turn my back on anything. You're always so strong, aren't you, Maggie? Macho Maggie bird. They say I'm a tough old bird. Yeah, okay. Tough old bird, Nick. Hee <laughs> hee, do you get it? Yeah, I get it. I was gonna say, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Shit. I know I used to be on the police force, sir, but I'm incarcerated now, so I can't use my connections to help you. All I can tell you about now is the ex-cons are kind of... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That only gets you down, Maggie. Yeah, okay. Um... All right. Uh, where are we going? We going to Trevion? Or are we going to Criminal Affairs? Let's go to Trevion. This is so loud and disgusting. What is that right there on the table? Looks like someone took a fat shit on the on the table. This looks like a kid's place. Who is that on the wall? This music kind of cool though. Kind of. Wow! Look at this place! Look? More like smell. What is with the suffocating set of flowers in here? And again, girls like that kind of thing, right? Actually, I'm not all that into it. No one's coming to see us. Maybe there's no one here. Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant, and it's open for business. Hey, hello? Anyone here? Hello? I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect! Let's get intrusive. If there's no one here, we can take anything we want. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we can. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what? First of all, let's look at the crime scene. Holy shit. This must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so. With all this police tape all around it. And that stain must be from the poisoned coffee. Or a fetch. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. And why can I picture you just doing that? Or can I picture you doing just that? Okay, God, I, I hate reading sometimes. <clears throat> wow, it's a beautiful winter wonderland out there. I thought I was selecting the flowers, okay. Really? Cool, I love snow. I'm losing my voice already. <clears throat> Let me see. Huh? It's not white. It's not even snowing. Got you, ha. Uh, it's just a prank, bro. Pranked, my prank. Nick, there are lies that are okay to tell and lies that definitely aren't. All I did was tell an itty bitty white lie about non-existent white snow. Chill. This restaurant has partitions that separate the tables. When you're seated at a table, you can only see the tables to your right and left, or left. I can't select this guy? No way, man. It's the restaurant's front entrance. There's a sign hanging on the door written in French. It probably says open or closed. It must be one or the other, but 
I don't know which ones since I don't know a Jacques about French. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I feel like going to sleep. Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in here. I bet Mr. Armstrong collected all of these personally. Let's see. Okay, flowers, some potpourri, and look. Some fine bon china cups. What? I never knew you were so cultured, Nick. Come on, Maya. This is common knowledge. Any Joe Schmo knows this much. Look! It's one of those magical boxes that spits out money. You know, you're the only person who would ever describe a cash register in that way. I wasn't even pointing at the cash register. That's crazy. It's a rack full of fashion magazines. They're all in French. Why don't you try wearing something a bit more chic sometime, huh, Maya? Oh my. Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in my acolyte clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and then. Hmm? There's something stuffed in behind the rack. I didn't notice that. How the hell did I not see that? Looks like it's a sports paper to me. Hey, look at this. Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. See, bomber? You what, man? Isn't that Mask Star to Mask right there? MC Bomb- MC Bomber? And one, two, three, four, five zeros? A, a hundred thousand dollars? Maybe? I wonder what MC Bomber is supposed to be. That's Mask Star to Mask. This paper, it's from December 3rd. This paper's from the day of the poisoning. What? Dates from December 3rd, the day of the incident, found at Trabian. Sports paper. Dude, it has Mask Star to Mask written on there. I thought we were over with that guy. Paper from the day of the murder. This has got to be a clue. I should see if I can find out some more about this paper. Yeah, we're going back to, uh... It's a rack full of fashion, they're on French. Why don't you just chic? Yeah. We found that sports paper this week earlier. I'm gonna try to find out everything about it. Right, okay, I just wanted the check mark, that's all. I really don't want to examine everything here, but I probably should, huh? I guess this table's the only thing that's left. This table's set nicely. It just needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip. And it's not a sunflower, I don't think. Duh! Even I could have told you that! Well, those are the only kinds of flowers I know. Dang, damn it. I'm a lawyer, not a botanist. Alright, we're gone. That was easy. This place is ass. I hate it. Alright. It only allows us to go to the detention center. It's almost like they're forcing me to. Oh! A sports paper! Let's see. Let's see. Did Guts and Braun manage to defend his heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie. That paper is actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. And Gutson got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I found this paper in the magazine rack at Trey Bian. Really? That's strange. Trey Bian doesn't get newspapers. Mr. Armstrong says he's not really fond of them. Okay, facts, cool. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind? Anyway. What I want you to... What I want you to... Anyway, what I want you to take a look at this is... At is the... Oh, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. Oh my gosh, wording. Text, bro. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it, sir. MC Bomber. That was the name of the... That, mm, that was the name that was written on the CD. Just as I thought. I guess it was an MC screwdriver after all, huh? So, that $100,000 must be a down payment for a record deal, right? If someone gave me $100,000, I'd sing for sure. The Master of Terrain, or the Spirit Song, or even Maya's theme. Okay, Maya, I get it. So, if the sample CD was on the victim's table, that means this newspaper must have belonged to the victim. You're right! 
So the victim left this behind on the day of the murder, huh? I think we better step up to the invest- Better step up the investigation, don't you, Nick? Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. That is Mask Star to Mask, dude. Come on. I don't know if that's supposed to be just an Easter egg or what. Okay. Oh la la! Bonjour, welcome to La Trébillon. Oh, help! Hello? What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff. Holy shit. You are a older male version of Regina Berry. Bienvenue! Welcome to my petit restaurant! Huh? B Avenue? Oh no, my petit chelou. Shed chelou? I don't know. Huh? Me? Look at this face, like the kitten rejected by his own mother. You are fatigued, no? Oh my god, this is going to be so hard. I'll get used to it. Hello, you need this? An aromatic bath oil melange of la neroli à la rose. My personal recommendation. Oh, this is going to be so hard. Holy shit. You think I need what? <laughs> Oui, oui. Just add a couple of zips of this mixture to la bath water and v <laughs> voila. It will soothe your body and your mind. It's simply fantastic. Really? And for la maison. Me? Look at that face, like le puppy rejected by life itself. You are fatigued, no? For you, monsieur, I recommend the exact same thing. Oil of... Bergamon. Bergamol? What? And maybe a hint of... Oui, oui. I will add la peppermint and la highly sage for its fragrance. Exceptional. Such an invigorating recipe will bring out your delicious beauty, monsieur. But... My beauty? At all. If you will be seated, I will bring you the special menu of the day. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're... Lawyers, or at least I am. <gasps> My bienzu. What? My bienzu. I know this already, monzu. You are the phoenix, right? Are you not? All I'm saying, this dude is well built. You know. Kind of like how um. Kind of like how Maggie said that the guys were. I'm just saying. Um. Yes. You know me. Miles, we oui, oui. I never forget a man who flirts with me, especially in court. Oh shit. So it wasn't him. Okay, immediately. Oh, I guess. Alright, well, that's out of the park. I guess he was cross examined by our mysterious Zen Eop. <laughs> it looks like everyone to do with this case knows who I am already. I wonder what sort of impressions Zen Eop's been leaving on people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Jean Armstrong and Chante. Oh my god, I wanna not be here anymore. Please, monsieur, there's no need to show me that. You are Mon Phoenix, right? The worst defense attorney in town. <laughs> okay. I think I can imagine how foreign this completely wrong impression of me is. The last time we met, did I show you this badge? We? Oui? You flashed it to everyone in the restaurant? Interesting. It looks like Zen Eop is a bigger fan of flashing stuff than you are, Nick. What are you talking about? I show everyone everything I got. I am not a lawyer myself. I do not wish to speak out of them. But your defense in court that day was a little... How you say? Lacking, perhaps? <sighs> Even a Frenchman who cannot speak any English could have done a better job. You were very cool, though. Oui, oui, so handsome. Wow, 
I wonder just how bad the defense could have been. Every time you open your mouth, the Urkel hath house stirred. Oh man, that is something I don't want to imagine. We found this sports paper in the magazine rack here. One of my customers must have left it behind. Do you have any idea which customer it was? The only ideas I have, mademoiselle, I say from my kitchen. Okay, you completely dodged the damn question there. You're for sure getting pressed. So what does tray bien mean? I know tray, that means three, right? So I was good, yeah. No, no, no. Tray bien is Franz. Or someone else is here. In English, you would say very good. Oh, very good. Oui, exactement. La atmosphère is très bien, and la cuisine is très bien. The food's so good. Why are there any customers in here? What is this, Leblanc? I'm only making Persona 5 references because I just got done playing. My cuisine is not for all. Some people, they do not appreciate la haute cuisine. I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. Since I have lost Maggie, I do not have enough hands. So you're running this place on your own now? We, oui. For the moment, no one has answered my advertisement. Oh, poor moi. Please don't eyeball me while you say that. I am the chef. I am the manager. I am also a trained aroma aromatherapist. My French accent is absolute garbage. A roaming what? <laughs> a practitioner de aromatherapy. The art of soothing la soul with the delicate floral, floral aromas. <laughs> delicate? The smell coming from that bottle earlier was anything but. Okay, so Trebian means very good, right? Okay. That's what I got out of that, that question. So, could you tell me what you know about the incident. Bien, it makes me sad to remember it, yet I remember it so well. More than a month has passed since it happened. Yeah, guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentencing. That's crazy. She's been in jail for a month? Oh my god. So, it was the third of last month, just after one in the afternoon. A man who was in here for a coffee suddenly became ill because of the poison in his coffee. Is that as the truth as I know it? It was Maggie who took his drink to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out to see what it was, it was already slumped in his chair. He was dead? Bon oui! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oui, he was dead. Maggie had passed out al also. This is all of a sudden becoming Italian. Oh my god. And this man who died, was he alone? Oui, monsieur. All alone. I know that Maggie said there was someone else, but... I see. La police, they asked me many times. I'm doing Italian. Like, he's French, but like, I can't do French. What am I supposed to do French? Are you sure there's no one sitting at the table, they asked. Yeah. But I am not the only one. The old man said the same thing. Old man? What old man? So who is this old man that you mentioned? At the time of the murder, there was another customer in here. What? Someone else saw it? Maz, oui. As usual, he came out alone that day. At the time of the murder, he was here. He saw it too. But he said the same thing. That there was no one else at the love victim's table. But Maggie swears there were two people. Maz, mademoiselle, la lawyer. He could not prove this, no? About the lawyer. That was me, I suppose. Ma bien, sir. Wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. Right, he did. Where's the transcript button? Is there a transcript button in Ace Attorney? Don't 
kid yourself, Nick. Hmm. Now who's the one making stuff up? Okay. Let me present to you... ...yourself, I guess. It is hard to imagine, I know, but I was an apprentice for five years in La Guerre-Paris. Paris! Oh wow, in Paris? It was something the chef there said to me that made me decide to open my own restaurant. What was it? That awful man said to me, You must train for another ten years! Oh, it was such a shock. So unexpected, but you had a fool, you would be a fool to do this, no? I guess. Maggie was a policewoman once. In the past, in the past, in the past. Yes, but she had to quit for, um, reasons beyond her control. Wee oui, wee. Oui. She, oh, excuse me. She was last suspect in the murder investigation, no? Oh, you know about that. That is why I gave to. That is why I gave to her the perfume for Alabanes. Happiness perfume, huh? We oui, blended from bergamot, like I have given to you before. But she's been arrested again and found guilty this time. This is true. Her natural aroma of unhappiness must have been very strong. Just admit it, your perfume doesn't work. I'm not surprised. She was the prime suspect. After all. Something like that, something like that, took place before my very eyes. Something like what? What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? Got to ask this guy for more info. Stat. When Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did anything happen? We, we, we. I suppose you could say so. So what happened? No, it was, uh, it was nothing. Look, Maggie says she didn't even know the guy, but she's still being indicted for murder. The prosecution must have come up with some kind of motive. We, oui, it is true. If there was anything at all between Maggie and the victim, it could be relevant. So please, so please tell us anything you know. Cyclops? No way! What are we going to do, Nick? We just have to remove. What the? What's wrong? The Magatama. I, I, dude, I noticed it was gone. I thought it was, I thought that was just funny because we wouldn't be able to press him. Why is it gone? What the? Huh? I had it in my pocket, but it vanished. What? could see the Cyclops. Maybe that means that the Magatama's nearby. Um, Mr. Armstrong, could I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting, was anyone else sitting there? That is a question we'll have to ask... Uh, that is a question you will have to ask him yourselves. Wait. What, what are you talk? Huh? Him? Im? The old man spends all of his time down the park. Le park? Oh, park. What park's that? Behind the restaurant. It is called Vitamin Square. I'm not even gonna say that. Let's go check out this Vitamin Square right now, Nick. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go. Alright, uh, well, I need to, like, find my Magatama. I suppose that's something I might not be able to find immediately. I feel like that's a story thing. Yeah, so let's hold off on that, to be honest. Alright, we... are going to move. Oh! So you met the owner, Mr. Armstrong. He is, um... How can I put this? Pretty unique, huh? He has a really intense aura, as a chef and as a person. 
yeah, is a pretty intense aroma, too. So did Mr. Armstrong really not see the killer? Apparently not. Well, he's in the kitchen all the time, so I guess it's possible that he didn't. for your help last year. Aw, it was nothing. I'm glad we got you off the hook. I hope you can help me out this year, too. Yeah, me too. It'd be sweet if we could get that verdict overturned. Facts, 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 facts. I can't talk to you about anything else. Um, I unfortunately don't have the Magatama, so... Um, I guess we're just gonna have to go to... Trabian. Move again and go to Vitamin Square. Haha, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Why, why, how come there's no, like, no more parks like this? This promotes, whatever. Okay, Vitamin Square, January 6th. So this is Vitamin Square. Yeah, I see where they get the name from na for now. From now. I see where they get the name from now. God, I can't read English, dude. The fruit scream, vitamins. Hey. Hey, Nick. That's the guy, right? Isn't that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? That grouchy-looking grandpa? He's throwing seeds out for the pigeons. My, he's not throwing seeds for them, he's throwing seeds at them. Oh my god. You want to go get that checked out, maybe? <laughs> Yuck. That is disgusting, man. My grumpiness threat level has just been raised to red. This guy's from Ghost of Tsushima, for real. Um, excuse me. Do you mind if I had a word with you? Yes! I just want to ask you a couple of questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? So you don't like my seeds, eh, pigeons? He's really chucking those seeds at them. And me. It's gotta hurry. Go on! Eat this! Excuse me, sir, can I ask you about Maggie Bird? I don't know anything about Maggie Bird. Give him dude, where's where's the dude that voices uh, Sojiro Sakura? I can't do a good Sojiro Sakura, but I'll, I'll try to do like some just kind of deep. Yes, you do. The waitress at Trey, yes, you do. The waitress at Trey Bien. It's a disgrace, I tell you. An utter disgrace. A, a disgrace? Listen, young girl, revealing herself like that. Revealing? You mean her uniform? The youth of today. Uh, the youth of today. They don't have any shame, you know. I tell you, not one ounce. I can't get this dude's voice. Uh, whatever happened to the old Bushido values of Japan? Like honor and modesty. What about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You? Problem is your lack of any sense of grace. Talk about hitting a girl where it hurts. God, you're a dick, aren't you? Do you go to Trey Bien a lot? <laughs> that miserable excuse for a restaurant. That garbage they serve in there is hot, not food. Where's the sushi? The tempura, the rice, the curry? Trey Bien is a French restaurant, sir. Where do you think we are, boy? In Paris? I want real food, not those snooty snacks. What about those shameless girls? You mean the waitresses? You can see all the way up to their... Their... Yes, the waitresses. They're practically naked. It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Listen, it's not my restaurant. God, it's a miserable excuse for a restaurant, that place. Miserable. Certainly knows the place. Must be irregular. But if he hates it so much, why does he keep going? Are you a regular at the restaurant, sir? It's just, if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? There you are. You filled the pigeons. You want food. Haha, <laughs> take that. 
Must be hiding something, right? If he is, I should be able to see Cyclock or two. Oh, wait. I don't exactly have the Magatama right now. Huh. Remember, Nick, that Magatama is only on loan. You'd better find it, or else. If Pearls ever gets wind of this, I'm going to be in a world of pain. Slaps. Alright. No, wait, wait, wait. Examine. What is this? Oh, there's a magazine here. It's a magazine full of job listings. Disgusting, bro. Picking up something else, something someone else threw away. Threw away? Did you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? God, it's none of your business. Sorry. Guess I'll just take the magazine with me then. I don't want anyone else having it. Give it back. Too bad. Now what you want is so bad. Now that you want it so bad, I don't want to give it up. Job listings. Picked up from a bench in Vitamin Square, thrown away by the old man. Job listings. Hey, that's mine. Take it back? Um... I can't exactly talk to him about anything else, can I? No? Alright, let me move for now. And then I'll get upset because I forgot to go back to him. Let's go to the criminal affairs, because we haven't been there yet. No way! The, um... The... Oh my gosh. The blue badger, that's his name. He has a... He has a girlfriend now? The pink badger? It's been ages since we've came down to the precinct, huh? Yeah, it's almost been like three months, huh? Looks like Gumshoe isn't around. Damn it. It's got so easy. Leaving everyone else to do their work, or he's got it easy. No, he's out there somewhere. Bet is, my bet is on the courthouse. He's probably trying to arrange the retrial of this case. Guess that means we should go to the detention center and chat with our killer, huh? After being convicted without a fair trial, I'm not sure killer is the right label. <clears throat> hey, guy. This must be the chief of detectives here. Glued to his computer screen. What? Mask started mask turned up at the bank? What's he doing? Hands up, you scallywags. You're under arrest. Hey, that's our job. Looks like Ron Delight's opted for a new career. Quit surfing the net, chief. S sorry. I was just, um... Things feel pretty tense in here. Is this guy still writing his novel? Must be one of the detectives. Mumbling something to himself. Don't die running a red light. Die the old-fashioned way. Of old age. We have a winner. We have a winner. Inject a bit of humor. That's the key. Must be coming up with slogans for a safety campaign. I guess. Alright, alright, alright. Hey! Hey! That's the police mascot, isn't it? It's so cute! That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. And now it's the national symbol of the police force. So what's with the pink one? It's new, right? She's not an it, Nick. She's a she. Right, Chief? Yep. Meet the pink badger. So no one's called blue, and the other one's called pink, but they're both called badger? You got it. They're married. Um... Mr. and Mrs. Badger seem to be cuffed together, Chief. You got it. That's marriage for you. Oh, a mascot that's deeper than the deepest of deep oceans. Fool, 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 fool. Where's Franziska von Karma? I want to see... I want to see her again. Alright, so we need to continue investigating that old guy. I suppose. Either that, or we gotta find something here again. Let's go to Vitamin Square. Let's just examine everything. I never examined anything here. Hey, look! Pigeons! Yeah, and heaps of them, too. Did you know that pigeons are a symbol of peace? That's a dove, not a pigeon. Come on. Poor things. 
So they can't be symbols of peace and harmony just because they're gray? Is that it? You're overthinking this one, Maya. It's not racist, Maya, I swear. This place is so fruity! It's not a bad thing. Besides, I love apples. They're among my favorites. Then that apple slide is perfect for you! And what is so perfect about it, Maya? Oh, come on! Don't be a stick in the mud! Slide down it a few times! Go on! Woo! No! I get covered in sand if I slid down that slide. Anyone can see that. Yeah, you're right. Otherwise, I'd give it a try, too. They were all just one huge thing. No way. Alright. I used to love sandboxes like you wouldn't believe. Really? You. Sure. Finding iron fillings in the sand with a magnet was my favorite thing to do. Iron fillings? Wow. That's too exciting for words. It was my ambition to collect every single shred of iron in the sandbox. I was such a kid back then. So, did you manage to get all the iron? No, I never did. I think I came close, though. Come to think of it, I still have all the iron fillings I found way back then. When? You want them? No. What the f- what? Alright, god, I can't get over your nose, dude. Holy shit. Um, excuse me, sir. Could I just ask you about this? <laughs> sir? Here you go, boy. How does some pigeon feet sound to you? This wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get out of this guy. Um, excuse me, sir. Could I ask you about this? Here's some pigeons, yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. Could I ask you about this? <laughs> oh, here's some pigeons, yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. Could I ask you about this? <laughs> Sir, here you go. Okay. Okay? Um... Um, excuse me, sir, can I ask you about this? <laughs> sir, here you go. How does this sound? Um, can I ask you about this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, here you go. Okay, okay. Um, excuse me, sir, can I ask you about this? Okay. Excuse me, sir, can I ask you about this? Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir, can I ask you about this? Here you go, alright. Excuse me, sir, can I ask you about this? Okay. Okay, so you literally responded to nothing here. Uh, do I have his profile? I don't. Um, shit. Are you a regular? Yeah. Much, sir. Uh, filthy pigeons. You want food? Take that. You're hiding some cyclops. I don't have the Magatama. Okay, you better find it. Okay. So basically, I have to go find the Magatama. Uh, um, Maggie? Oh, are you looking for some part-time work, Maya? Why don't you take a job at the restaurant? I bet Mr. Armstrong would hire you. Really? Me? <laughs> Pretty cool being a waitress, you know. And in the kitchen, you'll get to see all the chef's greatest secrets. What secrets? You can't make it obvious, but just spy on him for a bit. You'll see. It's interesting. Wow. I can't wait to get my apron on now. Um... Can't talk to him about anything else. Right. Where did I drop the Magatama? The fact that I can see the lock must mean it's nearby. When we loaned it to you, know, you better find it, and here is where I... Okay, okay. Uh... What? Oh. Maybe. Yeah. Mademoiselle? Y yes Are you looking for a ledger? What? No. No, I was just... Let me see. Your style is um, pretty different. But you have a good face. Different? Felicity assurance. You have passed. I will hire you. Bien, comes with me. I will teach you everything I know. 
Nick, help! <laughs> I, don't know where the, I don't know whether to laugh or feel bad for Maya. Maybe I should do both. Well, oh my god. Alright, uh... It's a rack full of fashion magazines and they're all in French. Ugh, the clothes in these are absolutely atrocious. Some of them have been circled in red. I really hope Mr. Armstrong is not thinking of buying this. What are you talking about? I thought that's where it was. Come on now. Where would the Magatama be? Maybe I can talk to him now? Um, excuse me, could I ask you about this? Here, have some of this. Yeah, okay. I figure I ask him about something now that Mai is gone, huh? Hold on, I just realized, let me save. <laughs> I haven't saved yet. Oh, two months, okay. I can't find this Magatama, bro. Getting a headache already. Hour and 16 minutes. I could be a voice actor. I would only have to do like two hour sessions. Looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess I'll have- I guess I've asked her pretty much everything. I'll come back if there's anything else I need to ask her later. Can I talk to Bro? Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that's gonna find her innocent? Um, no. Not yet. We've only just started our investigation. Well, whatever you need to know, I'll give you the dirt on it. I'm putting off all my other cases for now, pal. I'm just really fired up about this. Why did I just suspect that it was him? No, he wouldn't knowingly poison some guy. And then act as me in court? Stop, okay. Oh yeah, one more thing. The retrial's been approved. Court's sitting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And Godot's gonna be the prosecutor. Oh. Him. Now listen up, pal. If Maggie's found guilty again... Yeah? Um, I'll... I'll make sure you get locked up for good. Got it? What the fuck? So the guilty party was Maggie Bird, huh? Yeah. Back when she was on the police force, you were her mentor when she was a rookie, right? Yep. I kept a close eye on her. I mean, not too close, you know? Hey, what's with that funny look, pal? I was just her... It, it wasn't anything like... Look, sure, I was her boss when she was doing her training. But that was it. Nothing happened. I'm sure she is sweating up a storm over nothing. Ah, so that's it. Her big old gumshoe has a little crush on me. I, I don't even like her or anything. I, I, I was... Gah! That's how... Gossip with Maya about this later. Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You've got to keep it a secret. Got it. Sure. Sure thing, bro. Would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all the time? Hey, tell your face, pal, not me. You have to be blind not to see what's on your mind. Okay. So I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? Holy shit. His name is a, uh... What's it called when it's the same thing? Backward is forward? It's a palindrome. Glenn Egg. Elg. He was a computer programmer. I see. A programmer. He was just a regular Joel working full for a small time at a computer farm. Maggie never had any contact with the guy before that day. And all she did was take his coffee to his table on the day of the murder, pal. Yeah, Maggie also claimed to have never seen the guy before. Did the victim go to the restaurant often? Not according to the chief. Said it was the first time he'd seen the guy. 
chef, sorry. A programmer and a first-time customer at that. What possible reason could Maggie have had to kill a guy like that? That's what I thought. But a motive was still somehow established in her trial. You're kidding. What was her supposed motive? Sorry, pal. I'm real busy. I haven't even gotten enough time to sift through these papers. Look into it yourself, okay? What could this motive have been? Now, this isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kinda working on it by myself. But, oh, that's right. The judge already ruled on the case, and all the evidence is in already. The only problem with this is Maggie's testimony. Y yeah. Doesn't sound very good for us, huh? Shit. Look, pal. I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over by tomorrow. Before tomorrow. So I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bird's no liar. She's... She's... Okay, so she's a bit out there, and a bit off base sometimes, but she was a good cop, okay? It's not exactly complimentary, you know. So, what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? Well, the biggest problem with Maggie's testimony is the number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Maggie still insists there was another guy sitting with the victim. Right, but... Get this. Everyone else in the place says the guy was alone. Even the chief. Even the chef. Um... Immediately, I'm thinking that his eye thing is sort of a hologram display. I don't know. Someone can't exactly you know, get into the chair and leave normally without someone seeing, so... Projection? I don't know. We'll see. And then there's that CD. CD? Oh yeah, she did mention something about a CD. There was a sample CD on the table, sir. Yeah, MC Bomber. But our guys turned that place upside down. There was no CD. What? Not on the table, not anywhere in the whole restaurant, pal. But didn't Maggie say the victim was wearing an earpiece, too? Yeah, yeah. But that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. A radio? He didn't have a CD player. He didn't have a CD player? You got it. Your phony never explained that contradiction at all. Come to think of it... The owner of Trey Bien didn't mention that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. Hmm. Uh, you want some part-time jobs? What do you make of this? Sorry, pal. I can't think of anything uh, that, that... No, I don't mean like that. Yeah, you don't have to explain. Chill, chill, chill. chill. Okay, okay, here we go. Hmm. What's that? A sports paper? Yeah, I found it in the magazine rack at Trey Bean. It's dated the same day as the murder. You may have been onto something here. And take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey! What is it? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, MC Bomber. Wow, he actually seems to be thinking for once. Ah, it's no good. Uh, I can't remember. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. Hey, pal, I'm gonna borrow this paper for a bit, okay? I wanna get a handwritten analysis done on this scribble. Handwriting, huh? We get to know more about that in any case. Thanks, pal. I bet this will turn out to be an interesting clue. Sports paper given to Detective Gumshoe. I wasn't at the trial myself, but I asked this one detective I know how your defense was. And what did he say? He started off by saying, I'm at a complete loss for words. But he must have found some quick because he went on for about how bad you were for an hour. But he said you sucked so much, 
It seemed like you were trying to get Maggie found guilty. That's what I got immediately off the bat. Who's ever disguising themselves as Phoenix is obviously trying to do the opposite of Phoenix's job. So who has something against Maggie? Don't tell me it's, uh... Uh, oh, what's his name? Something Wellington? The same guy that... Yeah? I don't know. Yeah, it looks it looks like I was trying to get Maggie found guilty. Oh shit. Uh... What do you make of this? Sorry, pal. Okay. The chef of Trabian, huh? You know what that chief said to me? Oh la la. Your body is full of la toxins. And then he gave me this bottle. What's in it? Well, I don't know. The label says Juniper. I'm under orders to put a few drops of it in my bath every day. Under orders? Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I mean, guy. Huh? You can't stop thinking about him? Not like that, pal. Give me a break. He's, he's not my type. However, when I look at you, I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved with this case somehow. Sounds like he knows a little something more about our charming chief, chef, even. So what exactly is it that caught your attention about the chef at Très Bien? It's dumb. It's kind of hard to say. The guy's probably not even connected with the case anyway. Hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you'd give me give me? Did you say you'd give me the dirt on anything? Anything? Well, this sort of stuff is kind of unimportant, gossipy stuff, you know, pal. Look, how about this? You go to Trabian and investigate the place yourself. If you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Um, I suppose I get a choice in this, huh? Guess I better find out more about the chef and Trey BN than report back to Gumshoe. I feel like stopping. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half, dude. Come on. Whoopsies. And my voice is getting tired. January 6th. Sent a flower sure is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. Holy shit. You s oh my god. Uh, hello? Yep, I oh, know, okay. Bye. Who the hell was that just now? Customer? She had some sort of dark aura about her. Ah, welcome! The Avenue! Oh, it's... It's Maya. What a cute voice. Maya wearing something that is not her, um... Her regular clothes. Wow. That is crazy. Oh, it's just- oh, it's just you, Nick. M Maya? Well, how do I look? Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium, let's go! Maybe, but it's kind of boring being a waitress. I mean, you're my first ever customer. And who is that woman I just saw? Oh! Oh! Since you're here, you might as well have something to eat. I am kind of hungry. Hey, Nick, why, why don't you order something? The chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment, or so he says. I'll be right back. How much is it? It's the twin tea set. So it's $20, of course. The twin tea set. I believe I'll be taking a pass on that. It's kind of expensive. What? But you can't. Come on, Nick. It's not every day I get to be a waitress. I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register. How about cleaning the toilets? That should keep you busy. Yeah, right. Maybe later. So how do you like your new job, Mario? I never knew there was so much for be I never knew there was so much for a waitress to do. Take people's orders, bring them their food, make coffee, work the cash register. Of course, we need a customer before I can do any of that. Yeah. It's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. Check out my give me a tip smile. Um, about the lunch. 
Oh, a fine choice, sir. No, I, um... Kitchen! A lunch special, please! With all the extras, drink, side salad, dessert, and gift! I don't need any of that, Maya. Just a moment, please, sir. Maya's really getting into this. So how much is this set lunch, then? $20, huh? Well, with the drink, side salad, and dessert, it's... $45! Holy shit. Wait, Maya! Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Ooh, never mind, hold up. Our deluxe fortified lunch set. Whoa! A dish inspired by lobster and abalone frescasque with balsamic vinaigrette. Bone apple teeth. Um, thanks. Come on, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? All right, down the hatch it goes. Well? Are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving. Here, it's yours. Really? Remember, Maya, my wallet doesn't print money, so you better polish off that plate. I, I just remembered. I've got to clean the toilets. Hey. Can't be in that much of a hurry to clean the toilets, Maya. Come on. Uh. I can absolutely believe that that has been added to the court record. Okay. How does that guy manage to make good food taste so bad? Hey, Nick. You want to take a peek at the kitchen? The kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. Let's go. Hmm. Now, what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you'll get to see all of the chef's greatest secrets. Yeah. In the kitchen? Hmm. That sounds tasty. Let's go. Hey, wait up, Maya! What is it? I'm pretty busy right now. Show me around! There's, there goes my plan to find some cool clue and show it off in your face. I better conduct the search in the kitchen myself. God, my eyeballs hurt. Progress. How the hell did the Magatama find its way back here? What? The next day. That's right, we just got in the kitchen. Okay. Forgot where I was at. Ah, here it is. The famous Trabian kitchen. It's my first time in here too, actually. There is a weird atmosphere in here. That's for sure. Mr. Armstrong will be back soon, so we'd better search quickly. Chop chop. Okay. Examine. Give me my maga top back. I didn't click on the seasonings, I clicked on the Magatama. Now I know I'm in a French restaurant. I've never even heard of most of these seasonings. Hey, Nick, this container has oyster sauce. What's that? Isn't that used in Chinese food? <laughs> Stop. Ah, look, right there on the counter. My Magatama, what's it doing there? What indeed? On loan from Maya, recovered in the kitchen of Trebian. Good, we got it back. Okay, the knives. Now I know I'm in a French restaurant. Yeah, me too. Can I still see it though, please? Now this is one large mirror. I'm. What is with Maya's voice today? I bet this is where he makes himself look pretty. There's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's bedtime literature. Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? It looks like a yeah. Okay, I realized who was doing. I was doing Maggie Bird. I'm I'm stuffy today. Looks like a collection of poems he's written. Poems? Cool. R read out one. Read one out. And say it in your best French accent with intensity. Okay. Okay. Um. Here's one. <coughs> it's called. Printeps. The two of them, like actors from a film, the coffee will undrunk. Sweet nothings over too soon. On that sad Sunday morning, 
ze foolish cocktail so delicious. Take ze last sip of your tea, and I know what I will do. I must lie to you. I must. <laughs> huh? That's it? Yep. That's a poem for you. Alright, here are the perfume bottles. Right. What's this? Looks like a treasure chest or something. Wow! Look at all these little bottles! Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many. They're overflowing onto the floor. Let's see. One, two, three. Sometime later. 98, 99? 100! They're all the same, too! Hey, wait a minute. What is it? There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Oh, what do you know? It doesn't have a label, either. Yeah, it almost looks like something you'd use to, like, poison someone's coffee. And... It doesn't smell. So what's that liquid inside, then, I wonder? Hey, Nick, we should borrow this. I mean, look how many bottles he's got. He won't miss one, will he? I guess not. Found in the kitchen, shape is different from the other bottles, contents unknown. Hmm. So it is an oil? It kind of looks like, like a nail polish type, uh, thing? Bottle? What are these lace curtains for? It's a, it's a dish drying rack. I don't know, but they give the place a real homey feel, don't they? Hmm. Lace curtains. You know, if I was a cooking pot, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on a shelf under those. How do you respond to something like that? Maya, what are you talking about? Hmm, that smells good. Something's bubbling away nicely in that pot. It must be the lobster in Albalone Friat Fricasque with a balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> Isn't that what I just ate for lunch? Maybe. What you ate is the only French dish I know the name of. French dish. French dish. Is that really everything? Ah, oh, this place has nothing. This place has four things. Alright, I guess we're moving out. Alright, well, I guess we're moving out. <laughs> um... Oh! Um... I could probably go to the criminal department, no? That scooter's new. It's brokey. It's really broken. Hmm. The old guy's not here anymore. Trap. Still have some unanswered questions for him. More like I have no answer questions from him at all. A scooter, huh? Who'd leave it right here in the middle of a park like this? The wheel guard and the light are busted. Guess it must have been in an accident. It's totally wrecked. Holy cow, that person has a lot of breath in them. Oh my god, who are you? Holy shit. Well, there's my imposter right there. What the hell? Who is this? He scared the shit out of me. What is going on? I felt like I was in danger for a hot second there. Holy shit. Um, you look like you're a damn Dragon Ball character. Uh, so I think you're gonna get one of these voices. Hey, what do you think you was doing with my bike? N no, I was just... <laughs> you've been messing, you've been messing with my new ride. Is that what you've been doing? N new ride? G you're gonna pay for this. It, it wasn't me, I was just... Hey, then who's... <laughs> hey, then who's the one that tapped... Covered on my saddle and crap. Okay, he's not gonna have that kind of voice. You sound like... You either sound southern or French. I don't know what you are. Hey, then who's the uh, who's the one that covered my saddle and crap, huh? Grr. You's gonna pay. You catch my drift? No. Wait, wait a second. I'm not a pigeon, so I could... Ah, wise guy, huh? I'd have beat you so hard to feel like you were smooching the express train. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. You just better watch your back. This ain't over. I'm gonna round up a group of lawyers and then you's gonna pay. You hear? Um, actually, I'm a lawyer myself. What'd you say? I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at my... <laughs> Phoenix Rat. You saying you, Phoenix Rat? Uh, yeah, I am. So you're a wise guy too, huh? Because I'm Phoenix Wright, the one and only. What? He said, out of my way, I'm going to cruise. Well, we got him. Surely that guy wasn't my phony. Was he? Maya, where are you at? Oh, she's still uh, in the kitchen. Okay. She's still working. She's not in the kitchen, okay? I didn't mean that to be any kind of derogatory. It wasn't anything like me. So I'd better make a note of a scooter, though. Written by my phone. Writ written by my phone. The wheel guard is all smashed up. <laughs> this is the old guy again. <laughs> God. Pathetic. Oh, it's you. Fuel threats from a little brat like that. You look like a pigeon that's got seeds in its eyes. Have you been here the whole time, then? Isn't that, that strawberry? I had some thinking to do. Or look, you had some cowering to do. My man, talk. Have some. Have my seeds. Okay, are you a regular at that restaurant, sir? Just that if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir! Ooh, filthy pigeons, you want food? <laughs> Take that. I have the Magatama now. I can go back and press uh, the, the chef again, too. I knew it. This old guy has something to hide. But what could it be? Well, let's save and find out. One, two, three. Alright. I don't know my evidence, really. One second. Let me go over my evidence. Uh, okay, so in terms of profiles, I have, um... Mr. Palindrome himself, Glenn Elg. Uh, I have Jean Armstrong, who is the chef. Uh, a witness in the case who is also into aromatherapy. Maggie had apparently never seen him before. Maggie Bird, a waitress at Trebian, was found guilty of murder. Uh, Gumshoe, who's 32. Godot, who's just the man. Mia, dead. And, eh. Uh, uh, magazine clipping from two days after the murder. It says I was trounced and client was found guilty. Um, I found this from the old man himself. Yep, he threw it away. Troy be on lunch special. It costs twenty dollars, despite how unbelievably bad it tastes. So, okay, twenty dollar lunch from Troy B. Um, that's gonna be used in the trial, I guess. The small bottle shape is different from the others, and it's written by the phony wheel guard is special. Okay, okay. It's time you told me the truth. Why are you a regular at that restaurant that you dislike so much? Isn't it obvious? People only have one reason to go to restaurants. To eat. To eat? Is that the whole truth? What do you mean? I don't think you got- I don't think you go to that restaurant for the food at all. You went so bright. How dare you accuse me? What proof have you got? I can tell that not you nor anyone else in the world would go to that place for its food. I'm stupid, okay? You don't go there for food because it's ass. Okay, easy. Easy. The proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the lunch and menu. I thought I was thought, I thought I was gonna say the lunch itself. The lunch menu. That's the twin tea set. The food at Trebian is terrible and expensive. You're wrong. It's cheap. Huh? Cheap. I'm rich. I inherited money when I was a boy. 
Yeah, some stinking rich. I haven't done a jot of work since I was born. Other than feeding the pigeons. What a load of crock! It tastes another story. But the price, it's nothing to me. So you're saying that you go there because you've got money to burn? Exactly. I have so much cash, I go for a swim in my money vault every day. Oh, uh, Scrooge McDuck, no way. Unfortunately, that's a lie. What? You don't have money to burn. You're flat broke, dumbass. This is yours, right? My magazine. Why would a rich retiree be looking for a job? Uh, uh, uh I was... Uh, so what? So I was looking for a job. I'm buying a lot at the moment. I need spending money. Oh? I don't go to that restaurant for food. I just go for the... Javacino. Yeah. I think you mean a cappuccino. Anyway, how much does a cappuccino cost there? Eight dollars. So there better be some golden beans. What's your problem? I think a poor man would be better off drinking dishwater, do you? Is that it? N no I wasn't thinking that. I was wondering if the coffee there was really that great. No, it's not. But... But anyway, yes, that place has free newspapers to read every day. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, actually. Oh, where would I, um... Nah, whatever. Newspapers? Exactly. They don't want me hanging around at home, so I go there. Sorry, sir, but there are no free papers to read at Trabian. Uh, I don't have it anymore. I gave it to Gumshoe. No. Crap. Okay, I gotta go get. Uh, ow, 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 yeah, ow. That was no good. Ow. Well, boy, how do you like them seeds, hmm? But anyway, yes, that place has free newspapers to read every day. No, it doesn't. I'll come back for you, sir. I'll come back for you, sir. Yes. Gumshoe, I need that thing back. Hey, you're just in time. What is it, Detective Gumshoe? Can I give you a hug? That live got, got back to me about that newspaper you gave me. I just mean the sports paper with the memo scribbled on it and mask star to mask that no one seems to be pointing out. So, what did they say? Did the analysis turn up anything? They said the doodle was written by the victim. Glen Elk. No doubt about it. I expected as much. The victim took the paper with him to the restaurant on the day of the murder. That's our best interpretation of the facts at the moment. Okay, doodles in the victim's handwriting. Sports paper refiled into the court record. MC Bomber. I get the feeling I've heard that name before somewhere. Ah well, I guess it'll come back to me. Don't forget to report back to me with whatever you find in the restaurant, okay, pal? Since when did I start taking orders from Gumshoe? Although, I get the feeling there's something I need to show. Okay. Oh, uh, this? You got one of those aroma bottles too, huh? Only this one doesn't smell. Huh? I don't get you. This was mixed in with all the other aromatherapy bottles, but it's not the same. It doesn't even look the same. Wouldn't you agree? A cologne bottle that doesn't smell, huh? Smells like a skunk to me, pal. Mind letting me borrow that bottle for a while? I want to send it to the lab for analysis. The victim was poisoned, so the contents of this bottle are pretty important. A small bottle given to Detective Gumption. I had a hunch there was something funny about that chef. You suspect John Armstrong? I've got that guy's number. I know what his secret is. It must be the same secret Gumshoe was talking about before. I guess I'd better fill you in on the details. About this Armstrong guy's secret, I mean. 
Oh, this music is heat. So what's Mr. Armstrong's secret? You ever had lunch at Trabian, pal? Um, yes. So, how was it? To put it nicely, it was inedible. Hey, don't worry about being nice around me, pal. You and I both know the reason that place is so empty is because of the food. Mind me, the place is clean. He's got a girl like Maggie as a waitress, so... Yeah, I guess it's probably the food. <laughs> the real scoop on the guy is he's up to his ears in debt. Really? How much does he owe? This is a copy of his loan contract. He's about half a million in the red. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> half a million? Are we talking dollars or are we talking yen? Yeah. Hey, if it was Sterling, he'd really be in trouble. Sorry, that figure just took me by surprise. Yeah, this case is full of surprises. I'd be willing to bet that chef's got something to do with most of them. That's my hunch. Jean's debt is half a million dollars. The owner of the loan is Tender Lunder. God, that's funny to me. I don't know why. Uh, you know anything about this? What do you make of this? Oh, uh, sorry. All right. All right, fine. Yep. For half a million dollars, pal. That's... Um... Half a million dollar bills. What was the um in there for? Is there really that much money tied up in this case? I can't give you an answer on that, pal. Not without the case file in front of me. I'll tell you this. That Armstrong guy would have done anything for cash. He was desperate, you know. No, I don't, but... I think I sort of get the picture. So according to the boy- okay, so according to the boys down at the lab, the doodles were probably made by the victim. Probably? Analyzing this kind of writing is difficult since it's done with a fiber-tipped pen. But don't worry, I'll vouch for it. How many comes you have to vouch for it? It's stand on its own. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not a text or anything. Um, yeah, this guy. Present to him Glenelg. Yeah, you don't know anything about Glenelg? Alright. Oh, the chef of Trabian, huh? You know, that chef said to me, Oh la la, your body is full of la toxins. Did I read this already? Yeah, you did. Alright. Something about that lady. I mean, guy. Hold on, you can't stop thinking. Give me a break. He's not my type. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's what he talked about in terms of, uh... The secret. Okay, so I got that. Look at my badge, bro. Is that thing real, pal? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I wonder what this phony of yours is like. You had Maggie found guilty of murder. Doesn't that tell you? I gotta track this creep down. Yeah, same. Same. Like, I'm not the one that's controlling Phoenix. Who the hell would be at the law offices? Or Maya. Looks like Mr. Armstrong's really taken a shine to her. I suppose I'll just have to let her work at the restaurant for a while. I'll go pick her up from Trebian once things have cooled off. I really wonder if I had to come here just for that dialogue to trigger something else. If that was the case, that is... Ass. Newspapers. Uh, no newspapers. Yep. I knew I needed that back. Alright. Take a look at this. What is it? It's a newspaper I found behind the magazine rack at Trey BN. So, what of it? This was the only paper there, and it's dated more than one month ago. What? Do you see what I'm getting at here? That restaurant doesn't get newspapers. This is just one that cust this is just one that a customer happened to leave behind. Ugh. Uh, I could have I didn't see that last one. I, I thought I got off. <laughs> Tell me, why are you so determined to hide the truth? <sighs> I'm not hiding anything. I'm going to have to put this guy out of his misery. Listen. The real reason why you go so much to Trebian is...
Do 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 do. I guess if he keeps giving him business, he's trying to get him off. Nope. Okay. It is Maggie. Okay. Cool. 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 What are you asking me about that girl for? She was the waitress at Trey Beyond. Uh, I guess I have to continue. Therefore, the answer to the mystery of why an old man would drink expensive coffee at a terrible restaurant is the waitress. Uh, but I don't recognize that face. You probably tell and you are probably telling the truth here. Because you weren't looking at the girl's face, but at her outfit. Ooh, gulp. That's the truth, isn't it? You became a regular at the restaurant because of the waitress's uniform. That uniform is all you can think about, isn't it? You disgusting old man. Ugh. Ugh. I can't take it. To you, that waitress was your... Enough. Please. No more. Stop saying that word. Stop saying waitress. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Shh. We got him. I forgot to get health back after successfully doing a uh, thing, so I don't have to load anymore. Um, sir, can you please answer my goddamn question now? Yes, it's true. I was there for the young girl. Fine, so I'm a dirty, wicked, sinful old devil. N no I didn't mean it like that. I even got one of those lousy cups of Javachino every time. For eight dollars. Well, because of the serving girl. Punish me, lock me up. Really, that's not what I'm here for. You'll be the same. Another 20 years and you'll understand what it's like. You'll know how painful it is to be an old man like me. No, really. Listen, sir. Stop calling me that. I have a name, you know, boy. Show some respect, hmm? I'm Victor Kudo. S sorry, Mr. Kudo. You young ones think you know it all, don't you? Well, I'm not saying another word. I won't tell you anything more. This guy was in the restaurant at the, at the time of the incident. This guy was in the restaurant at the time of the incident. Which means I have to hear his testimony one way or another. Hmm. I don't believe this. I even broke his cyclops and everything. I just have to try to get him where he's when he's in a better mood. Well, shit. This is a long ass uh, investigation, dude. He's 68. Holy shit. Uh, here, yeah. Let me actually. He looks like one of those grouchy old man types. Yeah. It's okay though. I don't mind guys like that. But he's involved with this case somehow. That's a different story. Um, sure. Here's a tip for you, pal. If you ever want, if you want to get information out of a guy like that, you're gonna have to find his weakness. Try to get under his skin. His weakness? I wonder what that might be. All right, well, I think that's all I need to talk to you about. I don't have anything else. It's that old man. Is he still feeding the pigeons? Yeah, he fed me as well. Got a bunch of those seats in my eyes, and my jacket, my collar, everywhere. Oh, ouch. Hey, Maya, would you mind coming with me for a while? Huh? Me? Why? There's something I really want to ask that old man. Sure, okay. I'll just get changed. There we go. There's, there is the Maya voice. It's back. No, hang on. Can you... go like that? I guess? I really wish you would stop doing that to his nose. It's disgusting. Um, sir? <laughs> you again. Oh no! Oh, whoops, wrong one. There we go. 
Well, well. I see. Uh, Nick? His eyes are burning into me! It's okay. I think it's going pretty well. Kuh. Huh? You're still just a little child. Run along and play on the slide, alright? Play on the slide? Ugh. So close. Just a little more and he would have spilled. <laughs> Pigeon. <laughs> how can we crack this guy? Maybe punch him in the jaw, dude. Look how big it is. Um, excuse me, please, sir. <sighs> Quiet. Can't you see I'm feeding the bitch? <laughs> Mia, Mia, being the ghost afterlife medium she is, was floating around watching this, and she just straight up said to herself, This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> Mia! W well. If you don't mind, sir, I'd really love to talk with you. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Of course, certainly. I'm Victor. Victor Kudo. Even from beyond the grave. Mia pulls through. Thank you, Mia. Alright, bruv. About the incident. You mean the man who died after drinking the Jabuccino. Look, he's a different person. You can see him just melting away. It was quite a shock, even for me. He was a strange-looking boy. That girl took the Jabuccino over to him, you see. And? Was the customer alone? Oh, definitely. He was the only person at the table. Then he took one sip of his Jabuccino and... And? And he said something like... And then he collapsed. Dead. Oh, how terrifying. You're so good at listening, aren't you? I'll tell you anything. Whatever you want to know. <laughs> oh my god, this, this dude is creepy. Certainly seems to be telling the truth now. But it looks like Mr. Kudo didn't see this other man either. God, that's so annoying! No one else has said there's been two people there. Do you like the food at Trabian? I'm, I'm for sure eating after this. Well, of course. I'm really quite a sophisticated man. I was a young businessman once, you know. I set up a casino in London. Really? How interesting. Eating the food at the restaurant really takes me back to my days in France. What a lovely story. It's so interesting. Please tell me more. London's in England, not France. Dummy. Oh yes. France is wonderful. I'd love to show you around the city sometime. It's too much. I can't take it. I want... France. <laughs> That's hilarious. Tell me again. Can't believe Mia's laughing at the guy. Because I told you she thought this would be hilarious, dude. You visit Trabian a lot, don't you? Or you visit Trabian a lot, don't you? Of course. I mean, yes. I'd like to come and see you there. <laughs> really? Oh, you flatter me so. The owner would be delighted to welcome you, I'm sure. Be careful of that chef, my dear. The chef? You mean Mr. Armstrong? That's right. That man's an ex-con. He... he's an ex-con? No, he's in debt, I'm not surprised, actually. Oh, my nose is itchy. Whatever did Mr. Armstrong do? Oh no. Those eyes. I can't take this. He's really got this guy eating out of her hand. Insert dirty joke here. He steals things from 
from his customers. The CD. From his customers? Loves handkerchiefs? Little things, mainly. He's a pif pilferer. He's a pilferer. So you'd better be careful around him, my dear. Are you sure about this? Of course. He was arrested for it once. Why didn't Gumshoe tell me that? Or did he? He just told me he was in debt, didn't he? I was there when it happened. Having my job at Chino. Really is a regular. Holy shit. Let me write you a little haiku about it. How about you write an affidavit? A haiku? Japanese poem. It'll explain all you need to know about that chef. Convicted before a wicked man or woman. Repeat offender. Are we really unsure of Jean Alexander's gender here? Gumshoe even, like, mentioned something about that too. If he takes anything again, you let me know. If it's not too expensive, I'll buy you a replacement. Poor guy. He couldn't do enough for me. She's dead. Okay, Phoenix. That's about as much as I can do to help. Thanks, Mia. I miss you. Got some really important information, thanks to you. Honestly, I can't believe Maya called for me. Called me for something like this. Good on Maya, then, I suppose. Alright. Uh. Alright. Why do I feel like this investigation is coming to a close, actually? Back in the, uh, medium outfit. I guess it's about time to wrap up today's investigation. Had enough of being a waitress? Yeah. Plus, no one came to the restaurant. Oh la la, Mademoiselle Maya! No, how can you leave me like this? Okay, I'm for sure pressing the hell out of you. I, I'm sorry? That reminds me. Mr. Armstrong had a psych locker three, didn't he? He had three. Gonna have to break those. Well, I guess I have everything, huh? Mr. Armstrong, I hope you don't mind, but I'd like to have another word with you. Volunteers, of course! That's not what I mean, you ass. Real quick, I actually just want to see if I can talk to Gumshoe again. Nah, let's just try it. I'm feeling, uh... I'm feeling kind of dairy. Dun 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 dun, take that! That was kind of on beat. That was kind of cool. Alright. I never actually pressed this. I never had the chance because I didn't have the Magatama before. Next note. What, what is happening? I do not like this horrible feeling. I have to know the truth. What happened that day? Hello, hello. I will confess everything. Just don't hurt me. Huh? That was a new world record. It was a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket? I was wondering what those those bills were. I thought those were like bills, low key. You're like, yeah. La man who died here had a lottery ticket. For half a million dollar. <laughs> half a million? We. Oui. But after the incident, this ticket. Oh, uh, it was ruined. Oh, it disappeared. It disappeared. The ticket disappeared? This was la motive that la prosecution gave for Maggie. This was the motive that prosecution gave for Maggie. Implying that she has the ticket. Okay, did you find it? <gasps> did he place it on her? Ooh. Maggie said that something was found in her pocket. This is feeling good for now. They said that she poisoned the man to get the half a million dollar lottery ticket. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? Maz, hello. You've been trying to hide this information about the lottery ticket from me. And I want to know the reason why. No, monsieur, you're not me. But I have confessed to you everything I know. Mr. Armstrong, I'm tired of these games. The half a million dollar lottery ticket. 
I think I know who took it. I think the winning ticket was stolen by this person. Take that! Mr. Armstrong, I believe there is a very high probability that it was you. Ah! No! Wow, that's one piercing scream even for a man like him. Thank you. Ma, Pokemon? Moi? Why? You have no evidence. I am not Masked Star the Mask. I am not the kind of person who steals the property of others. Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Armstrong, but I have evidence to the contrary. I present to you proof that you have stolen from others in the past. Aha! Uh -huh. What is this? A poem? Oh, Monsieur, you know me so well. I adore poems. Please read it. I put some feeling into it. Convicted before a wicked man or woman. Repeat offender. Sorry to have to bring it up, Mr. Armstrong, but you have been arrested for stealing from your customers before, haven't you? Mandui! Le mesange, you have the liar! You deny it. Do not make la false accusations. Zilvaus Valley, what? So, do you have any proof? I want to see la incontestable proof that I have never, that I have ever, that I have ever stolen from one of my customers. Damn it, man. Don't, do not tell me that it's the food. Do not. It's not, okay, good. No, it's not Victor either. Uh, I am going to try. Nope, I do have to go talk to somebody else. No way. I really thought this was the end. Alright. At least I think I have to go talk to somebody else. I've been in this position before. I have been in this position before. Unless... I do have something. I'm pretty sure I presented the food. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, how did that completely go over my head? What, did he pickpocket me? Oh, I completely forgot about that. All right, well, at least I caught it. Seems old habits die hard, Mr. Armstrong. What is that? What is that? This is my Magatama that is on loan from my friend. And I found it in your kitchen. No! Wow. Scream just about broke some windows. And some chests. Locks, whatever. Oui. Oui. I, I have a weakness for la trinkets and la figurines. By the front door. Okay. My hand, it just slips out. I cannot stop it. You've stolen handkerchiefs, gloves, and other things from your customers, right? Oui, it is la true. I am just a timid girl inside, monsieur. A timid little girl. Besides, this time it was not a small trinket, oui. It was $500,000. Ma is no... Well, why would I steal it? I have no need for such money. Really, now? Oh, la monsieur. What is it? Isn't it true that you're in some pretty serious trouble? And that you are in desperate need of a large amount of cash? Take that! This restaurant is deep in the red, isn't it? Like, really deep? Way down there? Uh huh! You have a loan. To the tune of half a million dollars. That lottery ticket would have wiped out your debts. No. Mm. Well, Mr. Armstrong, what do you have to say for yourself now? Ah. Ah, I can't do it. Alright. We did it. Thank you. Thank you for the help. Mr. Armstrong, please be, be straight with me now. You said that the victim had a winning lottery ticket for half a million dollars. How did you know he had something like that in the first place? The man, he was listening to the radio with his earpiece. Hmm. 
Maggie said something about that too. The winning number was announced on La News, I think. All of a sudden, he exploded. Yes, half a million, he shouted. And the ticket. We. Oui. He had all of his tickets spread out on the table. I, I, I was so desperately in need of money, so I put the poison in his coffee. No, 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 no. Oh, no, you naughty man. I simply helped myself to one of his tickets. What? Wow, you are terrible. La victim collapsed and Maggie passed out. I thought to myself, pourquoi? Pourquoi pas? He had so many of them. Yeah, but only one of them was the winning ticket, right? How could you do that, Mr. Armstrong? Maggie was arrested because of you. No, this is not true. What do you mean? I did not take it. La ticket for half a million, I mean. But you just told us you did. You said you took the ticket. My no, my fear. It was not. Who's this? Victor, either Victor Kudo or the the phony. Huh? Ah! What is he doing here? What is he doing here? Mr. Godot! What in the heck are you doing here? <sighs> this is without a doubt the worst coffee I have ever tasted, Mr. Armstrong. He came in here for coffee? Is his craving for coffee no no bounds? Perhaps Mr. Armstrong stole one of the victim's tickets on the day in question. I am la- the what? I am la- ahead, no? Just the pretty little girl who everyone is laughing at. But in that case, Maggie shouldn't be the only one under suspicion. He had the wrong ticket. Nani? Mr. Armstrong made off with the winning ticket's pretty neighbor. So, the ticket he took was worthless? Not quite. He did win something. A whole dollar. You see? I am just a pretty face without my looks. I have nothing. So, what happened to the winning ticket then? The one he meant to steal? Indeed. What did happen to it? I don't like spoiling myself by watching trailers, so... We'll just wait and see how the movie turns out tomorrow, won't we? What a cool cat! Wow! He did not have to come in like that! Oh, Voila, you two! Time to laugh at the pretty little airhead! Looks like I won't be needing this note anymore. Victor's note shredded up, thrown away, and burned alive. Looks like we've got a new mystery now. Namely, where did the winning ticket go? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, anyway. I can't let Maggie suffer any longer for this. Certainly not again. Ah, that was heat. This is this is good. This is good. I like it. God, again, this investigation is like two and a half hours. Why? Why, man? Jean Alexander, half a million dollars in debt, uh, in the red, whatever, however you want to say it, because of the restaurant loan, I guess, with tender lender. I don't know if they would say that just as a joke or if that's actually important. Why do I feel like that phony might have something to do with tender lender? Maybe. I still don't know the phony's name, and I don't know if we'll ever know his name. We need one in order to point a finger at him. Victor Kudo was there the day of the incident, so he's probably going to testify. I don't know if Maggie can testify. No, Maggie... Yeah, Maggie might testify. Godot is just a cool cat. 
man. He is just he he obviously like, you know, gets defeated and he has his sprites, but most of the time he is just one cool person. The aromatherapy stuff, which Gumshoe took and we don't have it anymore. That's going to come back hopefully in the in the next trial video. I am excited for the trial as always. Yeah, that's about it. I don't know when I'm going to be recording that, just whenever I feel like it. Along with the other things I'm playing, you can check out by subscribing here on YouTube or following me over at Twitch with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever. Thank you for watching.